Motor Week is made possible by TireRack.com, Hum by Verizon, RockAuto.com, State Farm, AutoTempest.com, and WeatherTech. For the first course, though, we'll be serving up this special edition of the Buick Regal. It's called the T-Type. Now, that's a name that Buick has attached to most of its car lines. As for the Regal T-Type, the T should naturally stand for turbocharging. Of course, Buick has had a turbocharged V6 for years, but this new version of that power plant and the rest of the T-Type's sophisticated fittings are currently making Motor City headlines. At first glance, you might think that this was just another cosmetic effort to transform a rather ordinary-looking two-door coupe into a mysterious stranger. And what do you know? From the blacked-out trim to the rear deck spoiler, it works. Our Regal T-Type got more second glances than a lot of sexy imports. The only things that look out of place are the stuck-on chrome bumpers. The rest of the dark silver and charcoal dress of the T-Type looks much more modern, a fitting tease for its exhilarating ride. Mash the gas and the V6 pushes you further back in your seat than any six cylinders have a right to. The maximum of 300 pounds of torque is reached quickly at 2400 RPM. It propels the T-Type's 3,350 pounds to a quick 16 second, 85 mile per hour quarter mile. With a total of 15 pounds of boost available in the lower gears, the four-speed automatic shifts firmly on the way to an equally impressive eight-second dash from zero to 60. And part of what makes all this feel so good is that the Regal's 200 horsepower is so unexpected. Cause and effect become a lot clearer when you open the hood. Under the bulge lies the latest Buick 3.8 liter V6 turbo installation. Its wastegate is now electronically controlled, and the direct fuel injection, a GM Bosch joint design, is sequential. That means that for more precise fuel metering, it delivers gas only when each cylinder needs it. Other simultaneous units fire more often, but with this design you get better emissions and economy. Also typical of the precise nature of the Regal T-Type is an ignition that has no distributor. Three power coils serve a pair of cylinders each. They're triggered by engine-driven sensors. But electronics allow for widely varying engine timing and thus best performance and economy depending on a driver's desires. The Regal T-Type also sports appropriate suspension and tire changes, though maybe not enough. Even with the stiffer springs and revalve shocks, the sticky Eagle GT tires and quick steering seem to pull the chassis around corners rather than allow it to flow as a single unit. There's a lot of understeer, and the back end will come around if you apply too much power. But the T-Type's handling is a big improvement over other Regals, and the resulting ride is still smooth enough to confirm the T-Type's performance with luxury image. Brakes, a typical GM front disc and rear drum arrangement, did seem overly touchy with too much boost, but good balance is present. Stops were very straight and short, with an average of only 112 feet from 55 miles per hour. Also on the short side are the seats. The bottom cushions only extend partway up your thighs, and a hump in the middle means that for the first 20,000 miles or so, you'll sit on rather than in them. The rest of the interior is as handsome as it is functional, though. Gray tones abound in a serious yet sporty style. But there is another item our Regal T-Type's interior decorator forgot, gauges. Buick's optional electronic cluster just doesn't fit this car, especially since the turbo boost is indicated only with warning lights. But good surprises on our Regal T-Type include a very low interior noise level of 65 decibels at 55 and mileage. While ratings by the EPA are 17 city and 28 highway, we expected much less than the 24 we found on our 100 mile economy loop. It looks like all that efficient performance engine technology really does pay off. And in the end, perhaps that's the most impressive aspect of our $12,000 Buick Regal T-Type. The latest in mechanical and electronic designs make this normally sedate chassis a real Walter Mitty special. It's fast and demurely flashy, with respectable handling and brakes. Now we'd like to see Buick go even further and finish the job. 
of making the Buick Regal T-Type the highly sophisticated stock car for the street that is trying so very hard to be.